y'all, it's Kimberly and I'm here with another food video. Surprise, surprise, my channel is slowly becoming a food channel and I'm not even complaining because I love food and I'm really excited to try out these German cheeses. I have been recommended to do this video quite a few times so I'm excited to try out these cheeses. Let me know down below what your favorite German cheese is and let's get started. I have my wine right here. So I hope you have wine and cheese ready to eat with me. <laughs> All right, the first one I'm going to try is this one right here. So this one is called... Um, that one's a soft cheese with, with pepper inside. So it's, it's, it's like a cum bear, uh, like a brie cheese with pepper. Cool. What is the name? Does it have a name? It doesn't have a specific name. I can tell you the name of the brand. but then Okay. So it's a peppered cheese. Um, I have some Knepper. Knecke Brot? Knepper Brot. Knecke? Knecke Brot. Knecke Brot. With me. Because um, I don't really... I want to get most of the cheese taste as possible and this is a pretty bland option. Um, I usually don't eat very many cheeses for, I don't know, my stomach intestinal reasons, but I'm going to do it for y'all. Alright, so I'm cutting up this piece right here. Like a brie. Like a brie. I love brie cheese. So does my mother. She loves brie. Mom, this is for you. Mmm. This is what you would have at a wine time with some grapes, some brie cheese on crackers, and some wine. Perfect. Delicious. I'm going to give this first cheese a 9 out of 10. I really love this a lot. Um, the pepper wasn't very prevalent in it, um, and I think that's because you really have to get the chunk in it, and it's just not a very strong taste. But it's good. <clears throat> so this is the next German cheese that I'm going to be trying. Max, my assistant, what kind of cheese is this? Müritzer. 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 As in the region in Germany. That's what it's referring to. And it's spicy. Not as in hot, but it has like... It's a little stronger in taste. Spicy. Your girl likes spicy food. Max just gave me a disappointing look. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. I've never tried these cheeses before. I don't know why. I think I just get really overwhelmed when I go to a German grocery store with the selection of cheeses that y'all have. Y'all have so many different cheeses that I don't even know where to begin or which one to get. So this is really helpful for me because now I'm going to go back to the U.S. and want this and have to spend $10 for this amount. Time for the rating. I'm going to give this one a 9.6 out of 10. It's a really good cheese. It's not, I thought it was going to be hard. It wasn't hard. It's kind of more soft. Um, but not like a spread soft like cream cheese or the breed, but it's still not hard. So the next cheese I'm trying here is a nutty cheese. Nutty. Will I go nutty? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> it's called Den Nussige Bockhorn. Den Nussige Den Nussige Bockhorn. Den Nussige Bockhorn. Yeah? Perfect. Yeah, pretty like a German. I'm German. <laughs> so if you look at it closely, you can actually see the nuts in it. Do you know what kind of nuts are in this? I'm pretty sure walnuts. Okay. 
Max is giving very hesitant looks because he knows if he gets something wrong, I'm gonna get drilled. I'm gonna get hammered. So, can't make any mistakes here. All right. Mmm. I've never had a cheese like this before that tastes like nuts. This might sound really weird, but I feel like y'all would eat this during Christmas time. Wash it down with some wine. All right. So I'm going to give, what is this called? Denusige Bockhorn. Denusige Bockhorn. I'm going to give Denusige Bockhorn a 9.2 out of 10. I'm really digging this German cheese thing. Almost as much as the worst one because I like meat and I like cheese. So I think these are my two favorite trying food out videos that I have done so far. Definitely not eating rotten herring, which is coming out soon. I ate rotten herring in um, Sweden, so if y'all want to see that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. This one here is... Dorfkäse mit Wiesenblumen. Dorfkäse mit Wiesenblumen. 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 So it's a very soft cheese with flowers on top actually. Flowers? Yeah. Like you just go to the garden, get flowers, and put it on your cheese. Yeah, with flower petals on top. I didn't even know that was edible. Some flowers are. Okay. Here we go, buddy. Oh, I'm nervous about eating flowers. I'm really getting out of my comfort zone trying all these foods out. Let's cut that in half. No amount of cheese is too much. Tell you're sitting on the toilet wishing you hadn't. <laughs> Y'all saw that? I'm probably even gonna do slow mo of that. <laughs> Max's dog's hair's all over it, but he just ate it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try out this other half of it. Um, clearly, I'm not a professional cheese eater. Hey, it's better it happened here than at a wine party or something with Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. These are all German cow cheeses, just so y'all know. It's good. I like the first off spread better with the pepper in it. This tastes very similar to brie. You don't think so? It's a little bit more bitter. I don't know if that is because of the flower petals maybe making it taste a little bit bitter. But um, yeah, it was good. Not my favorite one. This is probably my least favorite one so far. And I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It was the most expensive one. Wow, goes to show, price doesn't always matter. If something just tastes good, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or cheap. If it tastes good, there's no price for it. It's good. So I'm gonna try this one. And this one is... Bierkäse. Bierkäse, made out of beer? There's beer in it, yes. Hello, I need a beer for this then. A wrong drink, assistant. Mm. Polish beer for you. Alright, so I have some Polish beer I'm drinking now. Sorry to all my Germans that will cringe at me drinking this out of a tin can without pouring it or anything. Um, I'm eating beer cheese. I have to have beer with it. Alright. So, beer kaza. This, has, this was hard to cut into. So it's more of a hard cheese, correct? Yes. Alright. It looks almost like Parmesan to me. It's nothing similar. Doesn't smell like beer. Mmm, this beer is good. I'm gonna give this beer a 10 out of 10. 
Mmm. Y'all, this cheese is my favorite one so far. I'm gonna give this a 10 <coughs> out of 10. Really good. Is this the cheapest one of all of them? No. No? Really good. Doesn't taste like beer though. But. Lekka, lekka, lekka. I prefer beer to cheese more than wine, actually, but... I prefer... Both? Yeah. <laughs> Vodka? Rum? No, I'm just kidding. I prefer... It depends on the pairings, I think. Mm. If it is chocolate, cheese, and grapes, I need wine. If I'm just gonna eat, like, cheese and worst, beer. It's all about the pairings, y'all all about the pairings spoken like a true american girl next one and unfortunately this is the last one we're coming to the end of this journey and max what kind of cheese is this zitronen pfefferkäse one more time bitte zitronen pfefferkäse i know ma <laughs> zitronen pfefferkäse zitronen pfefferkäse yeah, that was pretty decent so it's uh lemon pepper cheese actually Ooh. I don't smell lemon. Honestly, y'all, it kind of looks like bread with crust on it. Yeah. So I'm just going to try it without anything. Mmm. This one is really good. Almost has the consist consistency of blocks of mozzarella when they're in blocks really good cheese there's nothing distinct about it though there's no special taste to it um so i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it an 8.7 out of 10. delicious cheese but no distinct thing that i'm like wow about. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I post a new video every week. And next week will probably be another food video. I don't know. We'll see. I love y'all. Ciao, cheese vision. This is what we do after the video. We continue to eat. <laughs> okay. So I just tried all the cheeses, and I'm gonna have to say, mmm. The beer cheese is my favorite, actually, just like with you. <laughs> the difference is I point at the camera and Max points at me. Um, then I think then comes actually the, the pepper cheese right here, and then the Wiesenblumenkäse. Yeah, you're and a brie fanatic. Anything that tastes like brie, you like it. I love it so much. Then this one, the pepper lemon cheese, then the Müritzer. And then, <laughs> and then the walnut cheese. Yeah. But they're all good. Like, I don't dislike any of them. I love cheese. Cheese cheesy. <laughs>